Hallelujah. Welcome to Salamwe with PT. It's a joy to have another opportunity with you. Please subscribe and tell your friend about this. We all can grow together on this platform. Now, I have this word in my heart that I want to share with you. Actually, it began as a question. We were in a service and our pastor began a series on change. And the question was, are you fully formed? I received it as a personal question that the Lord was asking me. But then I have this body to also share it with you on this platform. The question again was, are you fully formed? Or are you in the process of being formed? Now this scripture came to my heart as I was thinking on all of this. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18, the New Living Translation. It says, so all of us who have, been, who have had that veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord, who is the Spirit, make us more and more like him as we are changed into his glorious image. Emphasis is all of us who have had that veil removed. I, I reckon that that veil removed is implying openness, is implying sincerity, is implying into me, see, Lord. It's talking about you and I not having any form of excuse or reason or alibi for any misbehavior or any works of the flesh. You know, you see, all of us who have that veil removed, we are open before the Lord. It says we can now see the glory of God. Not only that, we can also reflect that glory. And the Lord, that is the Spirit, I love that. That is the Spirit will make us to change, you know, more and more every day, becoming like His own full image of glory. But the Genesis was we that have a veil removed and transformation set in thereafter. And right then, I came to my heart, the word that you probably have heard about too, when you were growing up in your science class, the word is metamorphosis. It came to my heart that you understand the stages of metamorphosis, different stages of transformation, changing from one level of growth to another level of growth. Like the egg of a frog will start from being an egg to a tadpole, from tadpole to frog light, then it changed into a full grown frog. Or you want to talk about butterfly from egg to caterpillar to crystal and a full blown full butterfly. It's a process, it's a change, it's a transformation. And guess what the Spirit of the Lord said to my heart? That change or transformation is time sensitive and destiny and purpose specific. Every level of transformation is time sensitive and they are purpose specific. There is a reason why a, an egg of a butterfly will be a caterpillar for a while. And there's a reason why once it has passed the season of caterpillar, it got to move to another season. If for any reason it gets stuck in the season of caterpillar, do you know that that butterfly has become defunct? That is another word that came to my heart. Anytime the growth process is halted, transformation is halted, then there is a deformation that says my question again to you is, are you fully formed or you are in the process of being formed? You should be formed. You should still be in the process uh, because the standard of oppression right here is Christ the Lord in all of his glory. Until we all attain to the fullness of Christ, growth, transformation should take place. I know change is work. I know transformation takes a lot of energy, but that is needful for us to be able to be who he has called and destined us to be. It is my prayer for you that as we all transform, as we all proceed in all of his glory, beholding is beauty, we will continue to change. You will continue to change. You will not get stuck. You will not be deformed. I'm praying for you as I pray for myself that you and I will not be deformed in our spiritual growth, in our character growth, in being like Christ in all things. Because there is a purpose for your formation. There is a purpose for, exist for your existence. And until we are fully grown, that is where we will accomplish the purpose. Until I see you next time, it's Shalom from me, Pity. The Lord bless you. Thank you.